Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to use a fish and then use the envelope tool, uh, envelope tool to put the, a name or some words in the fish. So I thought I'd kind of go over how I find fish. I first just searched for fish clip art. And then I went to the filter and I put extra large because that'll make it a big file. And then I put black and white. And then I just found a fish that I thought might work. And like, whenever you see that, they've got it blacked out. It could still work, but they, uh, they're they trying to keep you from using it. So I just brought in, let's say we bring in this fish and it's a huge file. And then you right click, copy image, go to Corel, and then you can right click and then paste it. And it's a little bit different one than I got, but in saving time, you can just type in silhouette. It'll just give you outlines of fish. And, you know, you could pick any one you want. And, you know, like, so your words aren't going to be able to go up in there. And this is a pretty good size file. So I'm just going to copy and go here and paste. It's always going to paste it in the center of your page. So... You know, this would be a lot easier one to put a word in, so we're going to use that, and that's a silhouette. But it's still a bitmap. It's still got a, a white bounding box around it, as you can see. But it'd be a good one to put a silhouette or a, a, a envelope tool in. So we're going to pick it. Even though it's real big, well, it's way too big. Let's reduce it quite a bit. And let's go ahead and trace it. Because it's black and white, we don't have to do anything to it. And there you go, it did it that fast, and your new copy should always be on top. Now there's still some white parts, as you can see on his tail and his mouth, and he needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So what we're going to do now is just select it, go up to object, group and ungroup it, and then we can select this white and delete it. Select this white, delete it, select that white. Now I'm going to go and left-click, right-click, in a red, and you can see a little bit of problems. That's ex basically where it was on top of the page. And then just select those parts. You still got a little bit of roughness to it to just take this, the shape tool and let's just delete those nodes. Same thing on the bottom. And now you're not gonna be able to use the whole the whole fish in the, in the word because you couldn't uh, actually get it to do. So I'm just grab, gonna grab the shape tool grab that line and just delete these nodes. And I'd go ahead and delete more nodes. The smoother it is, the better. And I don't know what words he's trying to put in there, but like I said, you can't really, you can't use this part of the fish and you can't you really use that part of the fish. So what I do now, and I'm gonna get rid of the yellow box now, we don't need it anymore. And still a little bit rough up top, uh, I could make, you know, I took out a couple of nodes that maybe I shouldn't have. There we go. It's rounded. So then what you could do, and what his problem was, uh, they're saying the shape is invalid. So let's take the three-point curve line, and let's go from about right there to right there, and then just kind of make a little curve. Now, I didn't get it to the bottom, or I did, but then I moved. So just take your shape tool and bring that down. And then grab your three-point line again, go from there, node to node, and, and get that space. Now, from here all out, you want to nudge. So this thing is still huge, so we're going to make our nudge factor 20. And I'm going to fill in this spot because the, the, uh, with the Smart Fill tool, the, um, it's not going to allow you to use that shape, but if you Smart Fill it and fill that in, now we've got a shape. So let's just type in... Uh, all capital letters. That way you don't have anything. Um, and it doesn't matter what size you make it. Uh, I particularly uh, like a font that's more rounder when I'm doing something like this. And see, I just had those two letters selected, so it, it just did those two letters. So let's select the fish again. Go up to, you know, something that's kind of got some round to it. Now let's open effects and envelope and go right here. We've already got our fish selected. 
go right here to where it says, well, you know what? Maybe I got to convert that to a curve. I didn't think you did. Huh. For some reason, that's not working. Create an envelope form from this shape. Well, I must have, you must have just, I must have not recognized and it actually did it. Uh, I didn't look at the arrow, so it's doing it. So there's that shape. <clears throat> now you remember I said you need to nudge. Um, you can very easily put these two pieces in that piece by holding down the shift key and selecting both and go CE. And if you pick the word fish first, the word fish is gonna move and not your object. And now we can nudge that shape out of the way. And I'd go ahead and get rid of my lines so they won't be in the way. And then just move the fish shape over. Pretty cool. I'm gonna go a little bit further. And then what I would uh, do to make it maybe look a little bit better is to take this shape and we don't want it to be right on the line. So let's go to effects and contour. And let's contour the inside just like 0.2. See what it looks like. That's pretty good. So let's get rid of the contour docker. We're going to go to object, break the contour apart. We don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and get... I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that the red one. And then click on that. Yeah, it was working the whole time. I just was doing it wrong. So remember... Have the fish selected, hold down the shift key, select that and go CE. That way your fish moves and not your shape. And if you can see now, if we remove these lines, it looks a lot better not being right up to the edge of the fish. But, you know, fine clip art that's easier to work with, silhouette, you know, we I could have used this fish. Um, very much, but just done the same thing, taking out these inner fins and just use. Now, here, let's just keep going on this. Let's say you're gonna use this fish and see it's got a white bounding box around it, but we don't have to do too much to it if we go to order and back a page. See, it's got a white bounding box around it. Even though it's huge, I think it'll trace, oh, it's way too big. You know, you get off the page sometime and you, so let's trace, tra outline trace clip art. And it did that fast and then just move it out of the way. So we don't have any white left except for the interior part. So what we can do now is select, select it and see you don't have any weld tools open. So we're going to go ungroup and then the weld tools and put a boundary around it and then nudge that boundary out of the way and open the contour tool, docker back, effects, contour. This time we're gonna contour the outside point too and see what it did. It made a contour and it took away those inner lines. We're gonna to go to object and break the contour apart. Now, if you need just the shape of the fish, there you have the shape of that fish. If you need it smaller or closer, you can always contour back inside point two and then you've got a smaller fish, go up to object, break contour apart or control K, and now you have a smaller fish. And then just do the same thing we did earlier about creating some lines. And this, actually probably the best thing on this one, uh, almost an oval you know, shape, get kind of in the center, hold down the, sh the shift tool so it'll grow from the center and kind of just do more of an oval. You can have part of those, you know, that fish in there. Let's grow it out a little bit. Let's actually bring it down here. And that way it'll get rid of that fin. <clears throat> Let's see what this is gonna look like. Cause it'll have that interior part, take the shape tool and fill that in and move it over. And then left click, left click, right click. Let's go ahead and uh, do our uh, interior design. 
go up to object, break contour apart, take the new one, and remember, nudge and do not move. We're way up there, let's type out fish again. All capital letters are gonna be the best, because that way you don't have anything hanging. And I'm gonna use that same font. Sometimes you have to pick it with the pick tool to get the font to change. And see how big fish is? Doesn't really matter. Uh, the envelope tool is gonna to make it work. So we've got the fish selected. Open up the, under effects, open up the, the envelope tool again. Pick on that, get the shape, and see how it, it kind of messing up the fish. And you could try different fonts and you can try different uh, values. You know, you can try, I've got it on putty, we could do the original and see if it's any different. That's a lot worse. Let's try vertical. Not not too bad, you just kind of kind of pick through. And you can always change. Once again, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and select both node or both items. Uh, CE, uh, which is gonna align it. And then let's take away our ellipse and grab our fish and move it down. Not too bad, uh, not you know perfect, but you could always uh, change some things around afterwards, you know, moving some nodes and stuff and, you know, make it look a little bit better if you're uh, willing to play around with it and, you know, just move your envelope tool out a little bit. You can move this one in. See, it gives it a wholly different look and fish. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.